Hi Geminis, so I'm here to do February's uh, love readings for the energy of Feb. So happy Valentine's Day to those who celebrate it. Um, always check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus if you don't know how to do that. You can go to Astro Sofa on Google, Google Astro Sofa. Uh, put in your details and it'll give you your placements for you, it'll tell you your signs. Uh, and always check each sign. I'm double Gemini, double Vir uh, Taurus, I don't know why I said Virgo then. Um, born on a full moon, so I always check Gemini's and Taurus readings when I'm reading, when I'm listening to YouTube. So I'm going to fire straight in. So Gemini situation. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's a nice energy to start off with. We are in Mercury Retrograde, it is your ruling planet. Uh, it can bring people from the past, but it can also bring up triggers and memories from the past. But it's better staying optimistic. It's not losing faith in love. So any challenge or blockage, it's safe for you to love. So the challenge is feeling that it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So that to me is a challenge right now. Uh, when it's showing in the challenging position. So... It's almost like you don't want to give up on love, but you're a bit nervous about it, whether it's safe for you to love. So you're trying not to lose faith in love. There's something that's happened in the past and it's kind of made you question the whole aspects of love, I feel. Um, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's a challenge for you right now to be open, to let somebody in. Um, so there's a safety aspect in this reading why is it coming around now finances and career so you could be concentrating on your finances and career um, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now uh, unless you're going to meet this person as an aspect uh, an outcome of your finances and career so I'm going to clarify it anyway uh, it looks like you've been hurting love and you're concentrating on yourself now or savings, finances, career. Um, but the challenge is to feel, you need to get to the point where you feel like it's safe for you to love again. So in the past, we've got two. So we've got true love, it did quite in reverse. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime, but then we've got love yourself first. So it's almost like the romance of a lifetime did come in, sweep you off your feet, and then kind of drop you on your ass. to put it bluntly. Um, because in that, you you had to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Maybe you gave too much of yourself to this person. Um as in self-sacrifice, maybe you sacrificed too much of yourself for this person. So now you've had to learn how to love yourself because of this connection. This connection could have had a, a, an impact on your finances and career. It could have been holding you back. So at present, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And then near future, you've got new love. A new person will stir your romantic feelings. I feel like you're working on yourself at the minute. I feel like this new person is going to come in when you least expect it because you are concentrating on finances and career. You're concentrating on material aspects of your life. So you're concentrating on you. You're loving yourself, loving your work, loving what you do, loving your surroundings. Um, and that is kind of opening up, you up to love without you even realising it, because you're giving it to yourself. Um, I kind of want to say hopeless oh, romantic. I got, I don't know why, when I looked at the new love card, I got that rock set song, It Must Have Been Love, but it's over now. So I really feel like there were a really strong connection here, and it really forced you into like a self-love you had to do the you had to do the self love in order to let let go of control issues. This person could have been controlling. Your power in this situation is healing family issues. So it's 
So your love life will benefit as you forgive parents or as you forgive other people. Your power now is to heal. It's to heal from this situation. It's to take care of you and yours. It's to take care of what you need to take care of. Um, it's healing. That's your power now. So the outside influence is deception. So you've been deceived. There's been some kind of deception, some lies. It could have been cheating. Um, someone was wearing a false self mask. It could have been you. Uh, you could have been wearing a, 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 a bravery mask. You know, Masks can only be worn for so long before they start to slip. I feel like you've got you've been caught up by someone who portrayed themselves as a true love connection and totally swept you off your feet and then the mask falls off and then bang you're on your ass. That's our energy. So hopes or fears, we've got engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, this new person, it looks like they want a you deserve a higher level of commitment. You deserve an actual commitment. This person, they could have been deceiving themselves like they were ready, you know, and sadly, you've been caught up in their drama. Um, your outcome is attraction. And this, this is what I was saying a minute ago. I feel like this new person comes in when you are least expecting it, when you're not even looking for it. So you're still believing in love, but at the minute, you're loving yourself. You're loving your own surroundings. Taking more care of what you're wearing or you, you could be decorating, you could be looking at your own finances and career building yourself up. So you you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. She's not concentrating on anything that's going on around her. She's control she's concentrating on what she's achieved. You know, she's smelling the roses, she's planted them, she's watered them, she's nurtured them. So she's looking at her own achievements. This person comes in from out of the blue, that's what I'm kind of feeling. I feel like it could be quite soon, which I feel like you're going to be scared because we've got the challenge being it's safe for you to love. I, I feel like you, you're going to be a bit nervous because of what's happened in the past. So I'll stay optimistic about your love life, positive faith, so keep positive. So we've got too many, sorry, it's six then. Stay optimistic, three of cups, so celebrating, so... There could have been a third party though, which has kind of made you lose faith in love at that moment, but I will clarify. Yeah, the two of wands in reverse. So it's like you could have kept going back, back and forward energy. Um, and now it's been like finally cut. I feel like it's time to celebrate, but you, you're not in that celebratory energy just yet. So the challenge being it's safe for you to love. That's what we need to get to. The Queen of Pentacles. So you could have been do dealing with um, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, or it could have happened under one of them seasons. Um, but it's safe. It's, it's about nurturing. Safety, security. Queen of Pentacles is very grounded. So finances and career. Why is it coming around now? The Ace of Pentacles. The past person was holding you back. The Ace of Pentacles is financial security. It's it's having money in the bank. It's being secure and safe. And it, there's a lot of safety in your in your cards. So there's a past connection that wasn't safe, and I feel like it had some kind of effect on finances and career. It held you back. So now it's like all guns blazing forward. The divine are, are handing you this. It's almost like a reward for realizing what you were enduring at the time but i feel like you've been holding yourself back as well but now you've got the ace of pentacles so your love reading is now turned into a financial reading so recent past this true love of a life sam and this love yourself first let's have a look the three of pentacles in reverse so i do feel like they're a third party energy um i feel like someone brought a third party into the situation uh we've got the emperor so i do feel like you could be dealing with a taurus or dealing with a controlling person that's where you, you've got to take control back now. Yeah, judgment. So that person will come under their own judgment. You, you know, the tables do turn. But judgment, you made the right decision, even though it was hard. Because you're not an option. I feel like you were being treated like an option or you were being made to feel like you were just an option. Um, and I feel like the judgment call, it was on you. You know, you release yourself from that situation. 
too many options. This person is messing about. So let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. We've got the Eight of Cups. So we've got a new space there for an emotional adventure. So you are moving on. You've ended a cycle with somebody and it's like the total finito finalization ending done. We're not doing we're not going around in this cycle again. So you're ready to move on now. We are in the next eight karmic cycle until 2028. Um so I feel like you're kind of going with the flow, letting go of the control issues, kind of letting go in with the flow and see what comes in on its own. Eight of swords in reverse. So in the past, again, I feel like this person held you back um, mentally, physically, you know, keeping yourself in your thoughts. Uh, there could have been, you know, nasty words said or things like that, you know, self-doubt. You're coming out of that energy now. You're unbanding yourself from someone. Could have been Faisal, Page of Wands. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you could be coming away from that. Page of Wands, there's nothing there anymore. There's no... There's no excitement. This person doesn't deliver you that anymore. So it's like it's stagnant energy. It's like you're concentrating on you at the minute. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. So every time I feel like you're concentrating on you, your finances come out. So again, it's about, it's about blessings coming in. It's about getting that security within yourself and not needing someone else to give you that security. So you're finding that security within yourself. Because you're concentrating on that, I feel like that's when the universe is delivering this new love. So this new love that's coming in. 11, 11, four of wands. So we've got twin flame energy there. So you're going towards a strong connection. This person wants to build. This person wants the same things of you as you. We've got the seven of wands in reverse. So that's good. No longer feeling the need to justify yourself to someone from the past. It's like you're totally cutting them out. The tables do turn. Nine of Cups because you're making your own wishes granted. So you're going for what you want. Putting yourself first. So your power is healing family issues. We've got strength in reverse. So it is healing. It's healing it's mental health. It's healing emotional well-being. Your power is to do that now because the strength is in reverse. So it's to build yourself back up. Uh, you could have been dealing with Faisal, uh, Leo. So this deceptive energy is the outside influence. The high priestess, yeah, see the high priestess in reverse. So the secrets and the illusions are out. You see, you've seen that. There's no option to go back anymore. Maybe that still hurts because there is no option to go back and you know that you can't go back. Um, it's, it's not going anywhere. We've got the three of wands. There's too many... I don't like the third party energy in this reading. There's a lot of third party energy in this reading. So <clears throat> their hope is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They have ones. So communication. So it could start off in communication, text messages, emails, uh, conversations, six of cups. So we do have someone from the past as well. So the, we are under Mercury retrograde. It is your ruling planet. So this person could come back. Um, from the past with some kind of communication. Give me some advice on that. King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be the way an earth sign, but it's saying that they're still unstable. So they still can't give you what you really want. Which is emotions, Queen of Cups. Um, could be dealing with water sign there as well. So the attraction, you attract romantic. You attract romance. Three of Swords in reverse. So healing. Because you are doing your healing, which is your power, because you are focusing on self, you are starting to attract someone who's vibrating on the same level as you. Queen of Swords, your energy. So turning you back to the past now, and that's where you might feel like it's a bit scary about maybe offering yourself to somebody else. Um, the Queen of Swords, she's been through a turbulent time. She's got to the point now where I am okay on my own, uh, you know, and if someone comes forward, I will listen to your story. But as soon as I feel like you're bullshit to me, souls dying, cords caught, you're gone. There's no messing anymore. Ten swords, yeah, because you've done your healing. You are not willing to be stabbed in the back anymore. So it looks like you are healing. You're loving yourself. Your, your love reading for February, Gemini, is falling in love with you. Because falling in love with you will attract the love that you deserve. Okay, I hope that helps. Bye.